Hi, this is Tim. Thanks for joining us for this video. This video is going to cover basic reports in SI 2015. This video assumes you've already gone through the quick setup, downloaded some products, started a project, and you're ready to run some reports. So we'll come over to our projects area, and here's our list of our projects. This is the project that we were working on. You'll notice that we have our locations and our systems, and here's what's in the job. So if we're ready to run some quick reports, and we come to our Reports tab, we have a number of reports. We have Client Reports, Installation Reports, and Management Reports. Client Reports are, of course, everything client-facing. We have a number of stock templates that ship with the software, and you can also download a number of custom reports from our knowledge base, and we have a full report designer so you can create your own. Some of the reports include a contract, scope of work, summaries, proposals. So let's just go ahead and run a proposal. We'll have a proposal with large images. This is a stock template. And we can sort the information by either category, location, system, or combination. We'll just go by location. We also have some themes that you can download to give some flair to the reports. We have a number of these themes. You can download these themes, or if you want to create your own, we tell you exactly what size to upload for the header, what size for the subheader, give it a name, and you can create your own theme. So let's go ahead and use this one. We can also choose an image for the cover page. So let's go ahead and run this. We can also choose what type of information we want to show. How detailed do we want to be? So we have a number of options here to edit what we show in the proposal. If we want to show the model number, if we want to show the line item pricing, or if we want to hide this detail, it is up to you. So you have a number of options. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll run it. And it's going to take basically everything in the bill of materials and it's going to format it into a proposal for us. So we have the customer information. We have the image that I selected for the cover. This is the information that we set up at the very beginning during the quick setup. And as we walk through this proposal, you'll notice it's by location. We have a scope of work. We have our products. We have our model number. We have our line item pricing. And then we have a summary at the bottom. So as we walk through this, we've got each office, and there's a summary. All reports can be exported, so if you want to export it to PDF, or export to rich text, Excel, or if you have Outlook, you can email it directly to the customer. In addition to proposals, we have scope of work statements, we have cover page images, we have contracts. So if we run a quick contract, here's a stock template, it's got some basic terms and conditions. These can be edited. It's got the customer information. We've got a payment schedule that we set up when we first set up the project and terms and conditions and a place for the customer to sign. We can also combine a number of reports so we can create report groups. You can give them a name and then you can add any number of reports and if you group them together then we can run a single combined report. This saves a lot of time and gives you a custom package for your documentation. There's our cover page. We have a project summary, which basically summarizes what's in the job, the hours, the labor, a scope of work, our proposal, and we'll end up with a contract. So I could export it to PDF. If I have Outlook, I could send the whole package right to the customer. We also have a number of management reports so we can get a good overview of where we are in the job. First thing I might want to do is run a quick gross profit, see how we're looking. So I can go ahead and run this. And again, because everything's in the bill of materials, we can report and we can measure everything. So we've got our categories, we've got our labor cost, we've got our total sale, our profit, our margins. This gives us visibility before we even present to the customer. We can also run checklists, so I can give my team uh, detailed instructions on what goes where. Here's what goes in the offices. Nice little punch list. We can also run a pick list to make sure the truck gets loaded so we don't forget anything. And other reports such as project hours, purchase order requests, and cost summaries, basically giving you visibility on your profitability within this job. We also have installation reports. These deal specifically with wiring and schematic drawings which we'll get into in another video.
We also have a report designer, so you can create your own custom reports. That will be covered in another video. So this was a quick overview of the reports in SI 2015. Thanks for watching.